In this uh, short tutorial, I will try to explain how to use the ILEA five layer uh, code uh, to perform uh, FWD by calculation. We start uh, here with the FWD measurements. So we have a system of uh, a pavement system with uh, four layers. These are the thicknesses. Uh, the top layer is 150. The layer below that is 200. And the layer below that is 400 millimeters thick. And then everything rests on a semi-infinite uh, half space. Uh, the Poisson's ratios for the different layers uh, are assumed. And of course, we have no clue what are the moduli values of the different layers. Uh, it, this is just a, a, a possible uh, a possible set. And we need to find these moduli values. Now, uh, this is a last of static pack calculation. So I'm referring to a peak applied uh, stress by the FWD. And here it is uh, 0 0.6 megapascals and the plate uh, radius is 150. These are the deflections measured. Uh, there's There are eight uh, geophones here, uh, D0 to D7. And you can see the, the measured deflections and each is associated with a different uh, radial offset. So the problem we are facing is uh, what is the set of moduli values that bet best matches uh, the situation. So we start by uh, opening the ILEA uh, code. And here uh, we have to uh, use the same thicknesses. So I'm just linking the two. Um, and we have uh, the top layer thickness 150. And uh, here, I'll just copy this down. So the next layer is 200, next layer after that. And then we have a semi-infinite half space. So we just use some thickness and we just make sure that the, the properties of the bottom layer are the same as uh, the one above because we have five layers here. So I will just uh, do the same for the Poisson's ratios. Poisson's ratios are given in uh, column C. Okay, so we take uh, this is column C and the Poisson's ratios are as follows. So this last layer will have the same Poisson's uh, and the same modulus as the layer above. Now in terms of moduli values, we have an assumed set here. This is uh, just an assumed set. Now by setting uh, these equal signs, what is actually happening is that uh, the uh, worksheet here is linked. So if I decide to try uh, modulus of 2000, then the 2000 is automatically uh, appearing here. Stress, we take the stress of the FWD and uh, radius, we take the radius of the FWD plate, and that is 150. And let's say that the FWD was applied at the origin of the coordinate system. That means that the radial offsets are the same as changing the value of X. So what I will do next in order to link these two, I would just assume just for the sake of uh, that the value of x is 999 millimeters. And I would take the value of x here and make it equal to this assumption. So what is going on now is that every time this value is changed, The other, the ILEA code gets that as an input. And as the moduli values change, that uh, affects also the ILEA code, as you can see. Okay, so we have uh, measured 
deflections, we have radial offsets. Let's generate calculated uh, deflections based on uh, the assumed model I set. So the way to do it is to use data table. Uh, we just uh, we just take the value of the deflection from the ILIA code, and since this is given in millimeters. Um, I will multiply by 1000. So what we have here, I'll just uh, reformat the number, format number, uh, just so, so this is we call this uh, calculated in microns also. Okay, now we can generate a data table. So we select these cells and data, what if analysis, data table, and we say that the column is the value of x. And suddenly, we have uh, a list of deflections representing the calculated deflections at every radial offset in the case of these moduli set. So if we change this uh, value uh, to a different one, then all the calculation, calculated uh, deflections are appearing here. They are automatically updated 150 changing this to 40. So we have the calculated deflections next to the measured deflections for the same radial offsets. Now let's make an error uh, column. Um, and we calculate the errors based on the absolute relative differences. So we take the absolute difference between measured and calculated and divide divide by the measured entity and then we have a, a relative error in percent and we can calculate the errors so it's absolute relative error in in between the two and so the total error is going to be the sum or the average of all the absolute relative errors for the, from the different uh, offsets. So here we have an entity that we would like to minimize. By minimizing this uh, entity, uh, we are uh, finding out what is the correct set of moduli values. So changing the moduli values automatically calculates the deflections uh, corresponding to the radial offsets and we need to mod minimize this in order to find the best set and thus concluding the back calculation uh, procedure. So we go for uh, a nonlinear optimizer, the solver, and we are asking the solver to take this cell, cell and minimize the cell and doing that by changing the moduli values here and we expect them to respond negative and uh, let's solve and see what happens so after a few iterations we can uh, see that the error was minimized and uh, the modulus values uh, found are as follows and we can also uh, plot we can make a plot so we can visualize this uh, the results graphically
So it is uh, graphically indistinguishable, the deflections measured and the deflections calculated. They are graphically indistinguishable. And so the modulus set here is the modulus set, moduli set, that uh, minimizes the difference between measured and calculated deflections. And therefore, we have uh, concluded the back calculation ex exercise.